We've got the latest for you, and we're breaking this down because this is still, at this hour, a very power powerful storm moving over portions of Georgia, but you're feeling the effects still through Florida, up and through Carolinas, the Carolinas, and into Tennessee as well. So let's get right to it. Where do we sit right now? We are post landfall, but Helene is still a category one hurricane as it moves through central portions of Georgia. That's right. We are on land at this point. The video on the bottom left, by the way, you will see it all over social media. That is the Howard Franklin Bridge in the Tampa Bay area. Wild. With waves crashing over it, folks trying to get over the bridge. Wild conditions. Uh, the, the eastern side of the storm just battering the Tampa Bay area. Uh, again, it is a still a category one hurricane and parts of Florida just still dangerous. Uh, we have 911 services that were actually temporarily suspended. Law enforcement crews trying to get out there to help folks out. Unfortunately, now the conditions in Georgia are going downhill. They're going down how quick, and you've got a number of cities and a number of people affected by it. There's the center of the storm. Again, Category 1 still has winds of 80 miles per hour. The massive storm in the intensity, Category 4, when it made a landfall. Of course, it weakens over the land, mm -hmm. but when it's that big and that powerful, Britta's still maintaining some energy. It is moving north-northeast, and look at this at 30 miles per hour, a pretty good clip. Those outer rain bands extend well several hundred miles from the center of the storm. As a result, we have had several flash flood warnings for a good chunk of the state of Georgia extends into portions of the Carolinas. And we're also seeing that, I think, through a good part of the day. Plus, we also have some tornado warnings that have been popping up this morning. Yes, we have several tornado warnings outside of Charleston. Uh, you can tell that we have three different areas that we're concerned about. Colton County is being highlighted as well. These are thunderstorms that are just screaming off of the Atlantic and pushing inland into South Carolina. And they're so easily spun up because of the dynamics that are at play and the extreme wind shear that is located in the eastern half of the storm. So there it goes, goes right through Folly Beach and over Johns Island right Right now we have some rotation, so please find that safe spot. Uh, many of you are going to find yourself in a situation today that you're under a flash flood warning and a tornado warning. Right now this is just a tornado warning, so prioritize that. Get to the lowest level of your home. But the circulation is quite evident over Johns Island. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell the intersection of the red and the green. That's actually showing you winds that are twisting and turning, going towards and away from the radar. So find that safe spot. Uh, looks like over the last couple frames that rotation has gotten tighter. We'll see if it pulls together because we do have an additional county off to the north and west that would need to be warned. Then we have the two other areas. Two but I mean, you can see multiple spots here, Craig, where we have rotation that yeah. is right offshore. So yeah. the situation in South Carolina is not going any no, anywhere. A lot of these water spouts onto land, and I think that's going to be a concern for the day. We saw this yesterday. It's one of this this part of the storm we've been talking about. Well inland as well, and a lot of these uh, quick spin-ups, a lot of times you won't have much notification or time to get to your safe spot. Plus, if you're dealing with flooding, assess your damage. Do I need to get to a higher ground in the center portion of my home? Maybe. That's if you have flooding inside your home and you get a tornado warning, your best bet is go to the interior of your mm -hmm. home. Even if you're on the second level, yeah. uh, of course, you need to stay out of the flood water. So prioritize that center part of your home because that's where you have the most structural integrity and you're going to be safest from debris if you find that interior closet or even a hallway. Enough is enough to protect your body. Mm -hmm. There is a look at the winds. Uh, so we have a 56 mile per hour wind gust in Charleston. Wow, look at Savannah. Those and are bona fide right tropical storm conditions. Uh, sustained wind at 40, gusting to 76. And you think about how widespread they are when you're looking at those bright shades of yellow there, 50, 60 mile per hour gusts encompass not only the highlighted areas in some of the cities and towns, all the way to Augusta, 48 mile per hour winds back to Savannah, which you mentioned, but all the shades of yellow is showing how strong the winds are close to the center of the storm, but those tropical storm force winds extend well away from that. Uh, you're seeing those starting to switch on the back side of that, so you got some strong winds over Tennessee, but that's going to increase throughout the day. Power outages, those will also go up throughout the day.